Did you just buy one of my art prints or someone else's and you want to make sure it lasts for as long as possible? Now here are my four tips to help you make sure your prints last decades longer than they otherwise will. My first tip for you is make sure you wear gloves or have clean hands. This is a rookie error for anyone who's never dealt with delicate papers, old objects. Your body oils will smear over the sheet, they will discolour it. It's really important that you remember this as soon as you get excited and open up that package for the first time. Do not make this mistake. Now, my second tip for you is to make sure you do not put it in the sunlight. I don't know why people don't talk about this one more. Honestly, it's crazy to me. People don't realize that the sunlight can affect your prints. Even if they're most expensive guiche prints in the world, the sun will still bleach it. The sun will change the colors. It is incredibly important that you take it away from strong lighting like the sun or like some overhead lights. Now, if this cannot be prevented for whatever reason, the best thing you can do is get UV protective glass. So you can put it in a frame or just don't put it around light, okay? Maybe just, maybe just think about where you're gonna place it a bit. I hope you're enjoying this vid so far. I've got many great tips to come, but if you wanna check out my prints coming out soon, click the link in the bio and you'll go to my website and you'll sign up to the mailing list and you could be one of the first people to get these prints. Now back to the video. Now, my third tip for you is all about the environment the temperature, the humidity. So you've got to think about what room you're placing them into. If it's a room that fluctuates a lot, like a, a bathroom, you're having showers in there, the steam's getting everywhere. This is not good for a painting, not good for a print, not good for anything, really. A general rule for humidity or temperature is if it gets too high, you tend to get mold, whether that's from the steam from a high humidity or alternatively just encouraging environments because of the heat, maybe insects are more likely to go onto it because the plastic is warmer, it's wetter, and when it gets too cold it can get very brittle and it can start to crack, just generally degrading. If you're looking for that perfect temperature, museums tend to have it around about 40% humidity with an 18 Celsius. Now usually you can fluctuate between 18 to 24 Celsius in these rooms, but it's just really crucial that if you want it to stick around, don't put it into hot and humid rooms. Think about it. Don't put it in the bathrooms. Don't put it in the kitchens. You know, just contemplate these things a little bit. Now, my last tip for you is a bonus tip. It is be careful when you unpack your prints. You have them in the tube, and the tube is the best way to get a print if it's not framed. Because if you lay it flat, it can easily get damaged and scratched in a tube. It is very structurally safe but it leaves the risk of when you open up the tube and you're not careful, you can start to damage the edges. Now, lots of prints do have a frame around the print itself, maybe a half an inch margin, an inch, depends on the piece. This usually offers some buffer zone and easily hides those areas when you put them inside a frame, but just don't take the risk. If you want just the print there, no frame, be really careful taking out of the tube. So here are all my tips for you guys to make sure that you absolutely protect your prints no matter what. And now my prints are coming out soon, so if you want to check them out, the link will be in the bio.